Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In last two videos, we have seen interface and different questions or doubts related to an interface. In this video, we'll talk about the difference between extends keyword and implements keyword. So without wasting time, let's get started. You know, when we use extends, so we are basically inheriting a class in another class. And when we use the keyword implements, it means we want to inherit a class as an interface in the another class. It means when we use the keyword implements, we don't want to use a class as a class or you don't want that class as a super class. Instead, you want to use a class as interface for the another class. Then using extend, it gives complete method definition to subclass. It means whenever we use extends to create the super class and subclass relation, all the methods of superclass along with the complete definition gets inherited inside the subclass. While when we use the implements keyword, so implements keyword only use abstract method declaration to subclass means by using the implements keyword, the complete method definition of interface is not going to get inside the subclass or inside the implementing class. It only gets the abstract method declaration. Using extend, only one class can be extended, but by using implements, it's possible that is we can implement multiple interfaces in the given class. Then it's optional for a subclass to override the methods of superclass. So whatever method superclass has, so there is no restriction on a subclass that is uh, the extending class to override the methods of superclass. When we have a concrete class and that wants to implement some interface, so for that concrete class, it's compulsory to override all the methods present in the interface. However, if we have the abstract class, then there is no restriction for abstract class to override the methods of interface. A constructor of a superclass gets called before calling the subclass constructor. Okay, so uh, just before calling the constructor of subclass, automatically the default constructor of superclass gets called and we have a choice to call the appropriate constructor of the superclass. It means uh, by using the extends when we have the superclass and subclass relationship, constructor plays a great role. But when we have uh, the implements to implement or to just inherit some interface, so constructor of interface won't be called before the subclass constructor. So this is very important thing to notice. Even if a constructor is present inside the interface, there is no role of calling that specific uh, constructor from the interface so it doesn't matter how many uh, constructors uh, interface has and all these things none of the constructor of interface is getting called by or from the implementing class then a super keyword can be used to access the super class members in a subclass so you know that uh, the members of super class gets uh, it, it gets inherited inside a subclass so there are two copies of methods in the subclass the own copies of method and the super class uh, copies of methods so by using super, it's possible to call the superclass methods inside the subclass. Uh, but when we implement some interface, so uh, using interface, the means uh, uh, when we have an interface, members of that uh, interface can't be accessed by using the super keyword. And we already covered a reason for that one in the previous video called uh, questions regarding the interface. Superclass need not to override fields of subclass. When we inherit a superclass, Whatever field the superclass has, all the fields that is the instance variables of superclass gets inherited in a subclass and there is no need or there is no restriction to override those fields or members inside the subclass. However, when implementing class or when there is a class that implements interface, so implementing class must override all the fields present in the interface. Otherwise, it will get error or either it has to have some field and it has to have the getters and setters having exactly same name that matches with the name of field. Subclass has no restriction on overriding the getters and setters of superclass. So when superclass has getters and setters, subclass no need to just override that one. It can simply ignore and it can simply reuse the getters and setters of the superclass. However, implementing class must override the getters and setters of interface. So whatever data and setters present in the interface, the implementing class has a responsibility to override that data and setters inside it. A class gets guideline and specification by extending the concrete class or the abstract class. Basically, uh, when class extends the concrete class, it gets the guideline in the form of complete method definition. 
and when we extend the abstract class so uh, inside the abstract class whatever abstract methods are present those use specification and the concrete methods which are present in abstract class that use the guidelines to the subclass uh, when class uh, gets uh, means uh, when we use the implements to inherit the interface a class gets only specification by implementing uh, interface means there is no chance of having guidelines the class will only and only get specification from the interface that is it will only get the abstract method declaration and the last point is whenever a superclass has no default constructor then it's compulsory for a subclass to use the super and to call appropriate constructor of superclass otherwise we'll have error in the subclass but as we know that there is no rule uh, in case of interface so that's the reason when there is uh, no default constructor or, or when there is no constructor present inside the interface implementing class need not to use super to call the appropriate constructors present in the interface and frankly speaking if you try to use super to call the constructors of interface you will get an error so we cannot use super uh, to call the constructors of super class or constructors of interface uh, through the implementing class constructor that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos